So today's video is sponsored by EA. We're going to be looking at Command & Conquer Rivals Commander Training for GDI. So there's four commanders, and each commander is going to get a unique ability or unit that you can use on the battlefield. And the first one that we're going to start off with is Strong Arm. Strong Arm takes advantage of the minigun. The minigun will set you back 40 Tiberium. So this looks a lot like the sentry gun in Red Alert 2. The minigun is most effective against infantry and air units. The health of the minigun will decay over time whether it's being attacked or not. It's also extremely useful to body block positions, especially when the nuclear missile is getting ready to launch. The minigun can be placed on any tile on your side of the map. The range of the minigun only spans to the adjacent tile. Putting the minigun into places that aren't heavily contested could make it useless if your enemy can simply avoid it. Next up is Dr. Liang. The doc spends 60 Tiberium to deploy an extremely fragile drone. The drone has the ability to heal all units that are on an adjacent tile. One of the most important things to keep in mind with the drone is that it's essentially a one-hit for any enemy unit so you need to keep it protected at all times. So spawning it in the middle of a heavily concentrated area of allied units is the most useful and the easiest way to protect the drone. The other obvious use of the drone is actually completely the opposite of what I just described. In a pinch, you can spawn the drone to occupy a platform in order to gain control of the missile before it launches. This is a great tactic if your enemy doesn't expect there to be a unit to take over the platform in time, but just be careful in any event that the drone's health decays over time and will eventually explode even if it's not targeted by an enemy unit. Next up is General Solomon. Solomon takes advantage of one of the most iconic super weapons in the franchise, the Ion Cannon. The Ion Cannon comes in at a whopping 150 Tiberium, so it comes as no surprise that you need to use this with enough efficiency to either come out even on the trade or secure a nuclear missile. The Ion Cannon can be utilized anywhere on the map, including the enemy's MCV and surrounding base. The Ion Cannon does the most damage at its epicenter the point on the map where you initially click. It deals reduced damage to the adjacent tiles, and all of this damage can destroy friendly units. It's also important to note that the Ion Cannon does less damage to harvesters as well. Damage isn't dealt until the initial part of the animation completes, so there is a window period to escape the Ion Cannon's range. Fast units have a good chance of getting out of the way. Slow units like a Mammoth Tank? No chance. Jackson. Jackson's the first commander we've discussed that instead of a structure, he uses an ability. Heroic Charge costs 30 Tiberium. Heroic Charge buffs a single unit's attack speed and movement speed for 10 seconds. The utility of the skill is unquestionable at any stage of the game. It can be especially useful for platform control. Developing your sense of timing within the game, necessitated by the nuclear missile timer, can be the most important factor in whether you win or lose a game. Heroic Charge has the ability to disrupt your enemy's sense of pace and timing. A unit that moves faster than its normal pace and arrives quicker to the platform, or a unit that normally should have died not only survives but neutralizes the enemy's unit can wreak havoc into the gameplay for anyone going against Jackson. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Command & Conquer videos, especially Yuri's Revenge, and of course some Rivals, make sure to subscribe. You'll find the download link for Command & Conquer Rivals linked below. And if you'd like to submit your own Rivals content to be featured on YouTube and shared with the community, head on over to the Rivals Replays channel and find me on the official Rivals Discord to submit your content also linked below. Peace!